Hello fellow leggers, thank you for joining us for our first ever visit to the Barbican Centre because we're heading into the Barbican Theatre here. Yeah, and we are seeing this sort of remounted production of the Andrew Lloyd Webber, Tim Rice classic musical, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ Superstar. Superstar. So stick around to hear all of our thoughts. Find out how many stars. Whether it's break a leg or leg it. We have been recommended by so many of you leggers to come and see this production originally when it was over at the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. Yeah, I mean that production went down an absolute storm in 2017 and was nominated for five Olivier Awards five. including Best Revival, which it won and yet completely passed us by. Completely passed us by, Didn't however, it. <laughs> thankfully, it's got a transfer yeah, to here, the Barbican Centre. 60 Center. performances only, and we're already catching it quite late in the run. So I don't know what good we are to you, to be honest, fellow Legos. You've probably seen it more than we have, yeah. so let us know your thoughts I mean, below. it's been around since 1970. This musical is almost 50 years wow. old. So for those of you who don't know, I mean, seriously. Where have you been? Where are you? Um, it's a rock opera written by Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber and Sir Tim Rice, and it tells the story of the last days in the life of Jesus Christ through a rocking score of more than 24 musical theatre numbers, many of which have become musical theatre standards really, including I Don't Know How To Love Him, yep. Gethsemane, yeah. and the title song Superstar. Jesus Christ, Superstar so if yeah. you want to know the full story of Jesus Christ, you can check out John, Paul, George and Ringo, who give a fantastic detailed account in the Bible. Okay. <laughs> now, um, this show, uh, we caught a sneak peek of the cast at West End Live, actually. We did. They were and very good. They sounded phenomenal. Can't wait. There's been a few changes since Regent Park, and we'll talk to you about those a bit later, so stay tuned. It's a zippy one hour, 55, including interval. Gosh, that's And that's what short, I like about a Lloyd Webber musical, is they're nice and short, aren't they? I mean, I think there's a quote of his which says, get them in, get them out, get their money. I mean, <laughs> right. you know, there we go. That's him all over. Stick around <laughs> till the 30 second interval breakdown. And also to the end, to hear our thoughts and find out how many stars. It's the interval, which means it's time for the Breaker Leggers 30, 30 second, second interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. Oh, what do you think so me? far? Me, start with me. Um, is it good? Yes. Is it sang well? Yes. Is it the best production of Jesus Christ the Superstar I've ever seen? Yes. So far. Is it the best production of anything I've ever seen? No. Um, but I'm hopeful. I am really enjoying it. I think, um, especially as it is, what, 50 years old, did we say? Mm -hmm. uh, the voices are great. The, uh, the visuals are great. The company is moving so well. I'm loving the choreography and the way they move around the stage to accentuate the story. I'm really, really enjoying it. And like that, what, it's, what are those words that he says at the end? It is finished. That's what it is. It's a, <laughs> does it's a say, coiner. No, does he father I commend myself to No, that's to the your, last line, but he says, one. it is finished. It is and finished. And Jesus Christ Superstar, it, it is, is finished. finished. It is finished. How, How did, did you find oh, it? Oh, asking me. Yeah, go with I've you. got to say, it's a pretty unforgiving score. Like, to, <laughs> as a sing, it's not as forgiving as Jesus himself, is it, the score? As in, it's I'm, really demanding. Demanding, that's it. Yeah. But this cast, and I don't know if I can use this phrase in a um, piece of about crucifixion nailed it <laughs> they absolutely <laughs> nailed it okay like they did it was absolutely it's sang faultless, like it? it's pretty it's faultless, faultless. It, yeah. and it's beyond faultless to like it's jesus christ superstar it's like super it's on the it's next the level it's like they should rename Whoa. it jesus christ super superstar it's super super duper star because it is it absolutely is stunning absolutely and it's not quite. just the way that it sang but the production you, what the do you sound, make of the production i, th I, th I thought the whole thing I, I did feel the whole piece almost anew. There was times during the um, second act when he was getting whipped and just before the crucifixion, I was quite 40, tense. Was it 29 lashes? 39 lashes. Now 39 of them is then extra 10 for good measure. <laughs> I was, um, I, I, I felt pretty tense, like I was with it. I was I was there the whole way. Yeah. And I was thinking, what is it? What is it that's making me feel it this time? And I think it's because we are carried on the faultless journey mm -hmm. and it's a visual feast. It's the, 
moving so well. It's just really good. I'm almost like struggling to find the words to articulate what was. I'm not quite sure what it was There's that something made it work. Magical what about was the that coming element? together. Do you know what I think? It, oh, I think the real magic in this for me is in the movement. I think. Yes. I think it's yeah, the yeah. choreography that actually ties it all together because you could take this piece and have it completely interpreted in dance and still under, sort of feel the story. The movement yes. is that strong in it that it becomes almost like an entity on its own. The movement accentuates the feeling, like just yeah. the idea of the blind and the, the, the whole idea almost comes from the, the emotions at the time and the lyrics and the theme of the music. It's visceral. It's, That's it's, the word. It's, it's kinetic and visceral. It is. And they're they're and the aesthetic. words you could have found earlier. Kinetic and visceral. And I think that's that's absolutely. exactly what makes it absolutely right. Where do we go from here? Where so first time at the Barbican Theatre. Yeah. Like I say, even with the iron in, it looked amazing it and did. suited the whole kind of glitter theming. Yeah, it did. I was like, wow, what a great this suit. Space. And then it just What's opened wind up, noise? and it, it's huge. And a huge space is the Barbican. Mm. It's, it's epic. Lent itself so well to this. Um, what else in terms of production? Um, lighting, I thought was fantastic. I thought the lighting actually is worthy of a break. Legacy 2019 nomination what? for best lighting. Already so yeah, far. Yeah, the in. way they okay. have um, the beams work, going the to? upwards work. This is going to uh, ba -ba -da -ba 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 Lee Curran. Congratulations. I'm sure this is the highlight of your career. Um, I've also got to say, as well as the lighting, boy, was the sound good. Yeah, absolutely. Felt every note. That's the point. If it's not loud, I don't want to know. And this is if, a rock score. It's, you've got to feel it. You've got to feel those bassy tones. There's so many productions I've seen bum, where bum. the music is there and it, it, it dribbles in like a wet fart. No! I want it to hit me in the face like a brick wall. And, and it does. Were, <laughs> were you? Yeah. Did the I was, airbag I was kind of smacked in the <laughs> face by the airbags. Okay. And yeah, and it's the sound as much as anything. And again, yeah. the Balkan is a big space, but boy, do they have speakers here, there, and freaking everywhere. We talked about the movement, Drew McConey's choreography, I think he's worthy of a nomination, even though we've, well, he we've sort of a... had his glory two years ago with it, didn't he? <laughs> did he? But did he had he, a nomination he... for Olivier. Did he get it? it? No, he didn't win. Well, you never know well, what he might happen. not win this, and we're disappointing that much, <laughs> So it's just a 2019 Break a Leg nomination for Best Choreography. Yeah, for Drew McConey. There for, we go. For Jesus Christ, super it, it is super special. It is super special. Okay, what else are we going to pick out in uh, terms of production? Direction. Direction. We Timothy could... Shreda. Shreda. Shredder? Shredder? Shredder. Like that. Shredder. Some Ninja Turtles reference yeah. there. Um, so, in terms of the movement around the stage, a really nice um, kind of. Visit. I loved how we're kind of getting on set as well, I'm but I think I love the tone of the piece. It kind of set now but almost quite neutral as well yeah i think quite what, rock I, what i did like about it was that sort of concert arena type feel where they use the mic um wires in ways that i've not seen used yeah, before yeah, where absolutely. they use the um the speaker stands and the mic stands in a way that was yes. really dynamic the uh, the closest jcs production i know of that comes close to this sort of thing is the 2005 vienna production which had drew sarich as judas that is is my favourite death scene of all time. Please look that it's up. It's worth a look like, up on Literally, YouTube. look up Juice Arich, Judas Death. It is stunning. And until this, I thought that was the best it was going to get. But I would say that Judas Death is better, but this Jesus Death is superb. I also like the Judas Death as well. I wasn't sure where they were going to go with it. I think you can peek or do too much, but I thought they did it just right and it suited the theme and suited the tone. I so, do like um, it a bit more. I love a graphic violence sort of... It was a little bit metaphorical for my liking. I want brutal in the Drew. You'll see what I mean. Watch the Drew one. You'll see why I like. Um, it. Set design. I also love the set design. design. I yeah. love the um, Tom trans Scott. Tom Scott. I love the transposing into the bathroom space, complete with trees. Yeah. Did they take that from Regent's Park? I wonder. Was it a fake? Did they? Surely they can't. Do you think, chop I don't them down. think you could just rip trees out of royal parks, <laughs> can you? Maybe they them in unplanted the them. They're going to plant them back. Maybe. Oh my goodness! We're going to get blown over. This is it's just a sign from, from up above. It is. <laughs> okay, and let's so, not um, get into the actual, like, the, the sort of believability of what we're asking to be believe in in the story here. And also, I would say, the book yeah. actually leaves you, um, it, it sort of expects a lot of you to understand the context and the story. Because in mean? the first act, it's all a bit sort of like, why? 
Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no, no real explanation. In I think sense? it's a bit loose. Explain. The book. Ex- expand. Well, you, you're at, the expectation is you would come to see the show knowing that story. With a prior knowledge. Yes. Okay. And we've spoken about this before. And I do about, think... Should you have prior I did knowledge? think in that one, if I didn't know what was going on, would I be going... What? What's is the beef with this guy? I mean, he seems like a nice boy. <laughs> is, is there anybody in the world who doesn't know the story? Uh, uh, yes, I'm sure I mean, there that's is. that's a big ask. Because people aren't born with religion, are they? No, but so in this you, country... So there are lots of people in the world that don't know but, the story. But you also learn about other religions. You learn, and plus many religions have the same kind of iconic character at its heart, I Yeah, guess. I mean, they're all much of a muchness, ultimately, aren't they? But let's talk about, I mean, this was a man who thought he was fighting to make that part of the world a better place when he left it. And arguably, he didn't. Arguably, it failed in that mission. This is a, but that's this a is political a, thing, isn't this it? Is I mean, a let's not get bogged down, guys. Let's, let's, Look, let's have a beer sometime. But yeah, <laughs> this is maybe it's not even for anybody to have a map. <laughs> no, it's is just, it? It's this not is forever, just, to be honest. Don't ask this me. It's just for the journey home. Strong opinions, body. guys. But anyway, in terms of the story, yes, I guess they ask. And I, I, something else that struck me actually is that we don't actually know who Judas is until quite later on. We have this character come out and seeing heaven on their mind, but mm-hmm. we don't actually know who he is, which I thought was quite interesting. For the first time, I thought. We're not introduced to him as Judas. We just know that this is this character singing. Somebody and this character and then later him. we go, Oh, so that's Judas. Okay, let's see how that happens. Let's see how that happens. It was almost as if I was trying to look through it through fresh eyes, as I if I'd I never seen it did before. Did struggle at times. I think other productions for me have made it much clearer what Judas's motivation was at that time. Whether it's jealousy, whether it's power, whether it's love. Now this is a conversation in itself I'm, because surely I'm, it's fate. Maybe it doesn't matter because he needed to be sacrificed. I don't know if I understood because he only realises that he was predetermined for it much, much later on. But until he realises that, what does he think his motivation is? And I don't know if it came across clearly in this production for me. He's getting worried. No, no, I don't know. Do you think it's fear? It is. He says he's worried. That's a conversation point. What was Judas's motivation? What was Judas's motivation? Comment down below. Let us know. I I think. But I think in this production, I didn't. I wasn't sure. I think other ones I've. God, oh, I see why he did that, or I can see why he went that way before he has that fate realization. But in this, wasn't so sure. Wasn't okay, so sure. interesting. But that was the swan Let's thing. get on Just to cast, thing. otherwise, we're going to be here all night. Yeah, I mean, it's windy, guys. Ricardo Alfonso as Judas. My God. <laughs> Sir, at one point, right, he made these sounds that, that made me lactate. Like, literally, I don't know, I was like, where is that coming from? My body started doing things it's never done before. And I absolutely, like, he took my, he stripped me of my essence. um, He blew me against the back wall, he did. Like, you know, when you're sort of like... There is something definitely in the volume and in the tone, in the sounds he was making. I wasn't even aware that someone could make those sounds. I know, right? So cleanly and so strong at such pitch, with such tone and with such real grit, like that rocky sound. Absolutely stunning. And sung, I guess, again, it's 50 years, yeah. this show, and we've seen many people sing it. I mean, everyone sang but it, haven't boy, they? boy, this is no possibly one sang the it best, like this. possibly the best I've heard it sang live and as well. Fantastic. Do you know what? I would go as far as to say that I would come back a second time to see this what, show. What, a return visit to a I, show? I, I we don't never, do that. Usually, I never come back, but I would come back and see this just for the voices, but specifically his voice was great. Wow. Well, let's move on to the other voices. Do you want to nominate it? Yes, yes, of I was course gonna I say, do. You're going yeah. on about it. Why are we even like, thinking about it? I just skipped over it. 2019 Break a Leg as long, um, no. nomination for best for actor in a musical. Best actor in a musical. Ricardo Alfonso as Judas. Yes, yes, we do want to nominate you. Great. <laughs> there we go. Roberto Tripolino <laughs> as Jesus. Hey Again, just, hey as, just as clean and just as all these notes. Andrew Lloyd Webber really didn't write it easy. He no, put in he all never these wrote anything notes, easy. But these rocky notes as well. Boy, did he have a rocky sound. I believed everything he did. At, that microphone, that technique, everything was there. It was all great for me. Great, we had. I would nominate him as well. Oh, really? I don't think he can do one without the other. They did this at the, the Olivier's, other. right? Did they? Yeah, neither of them got it. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so. 
<laughs> or someone's got to lose. Yeah, exactly. So um, this is another 2019 break and leg nomination for the best R- Robert actor. Tripolino as Jesus in Jesus Christ Superstar the Barber Camp. I, I think it's, they go hand in hand. They do. Both of those. Are, I mean, they have to have a, a, a believable relationship with one another, I'm right? still waiting for a Mary Stewart style production where they switch roles. Have oh, they I done saw that, that before? Yeah, when I saw it last oh, at really? Birmingham, they played alternate roles. So one performance, you got them one way, one performance over. So it's happened. See, I think, I, be I think I'd be interested to see that. It's a long personally. time again. Um, uh, if, did anybody see that? What were your thoughts in on Birmingham, that one? I mean, God, it was ages ago, guys. Was it good? Oh, right. oh, come on, well then it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. This. Well then it needs to be of this. No, but it wasn't of a villa, this. Villa it was all right. Okay, now we on. had an understudy on for Mary. We, we had Rosie Fletcher on tonight in place of Sally Garnett. I wouldn't, she was wouldn't great. know. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Wouldn't, she was I didn't. Great. You know, I didn't come on and I went, wow, an understudy's on. I went, wow, an understudy's on, and bloody hell, she's good and she's believable. And yeah. I felt her acting through song in such a way as that she was forlorn and torn and had this love and affection that she couldn't convey and didn't understand because she was a whore. She's never felt like this about men before. And suddenly there's this man that makes, it's like me and you, you made me change my ways. <laughs> okay. Because he's hard to get. Is it? Is that it's why like, she Because he's unreachable. Him? It's all about, was, yeah. She's all about the chase, that Mary. She, <laughs> she really is. She's all about the chase. She, about the, she, she knew quick. it was doomed. If she thought, if she thought for a moment it'd work out, she'd have been gone. She really um, would. It was really good. She was great. Let's talk about. She m- sang it. She did because sometimes in the odd versions it's nice and soft and it's all ballady. No. She sang it. She delivered it like the rock concert versions. They sounded great. Um, um, carry X on. Factor former X Factor winner oh, Matt yes. Cardle in the role of pilot. I mean, he's branched into musical theatre. He did Memphis which we saw is about to do falsettos and I think he's found his place in the world I thought he was absolutely brilliant he's a force oh my goodness he's a force to be reckoned just with a like bit the like wind this wind <laughs> this evening absolutely <laughs> um, I thought he was absolutely brilliant like I say that whole section that segment I actually thought was really well written as well in terms of Andrew Lloyd Webber's and Tim Rice's work um, the layers it wasn't just attacking he really understood and he was saying to the crowd you know come on what's wrong I can't just kill him give me a reason I'm going to whip him look Jesus I'm trying to help you out here give me a chance okay you want me to kill you fine and all of that across the songs i thought was in there and i thought yes these are really good layers um that's all i gotta I say i don't think i can add anything to that <laughs> um, also samuel buttery as herod now um i mean herod's the comedy character this is a a way that um i wasn't surprised by it by the way it was interpreted because it is slightly it's not full drag but it's effeminate and I think Herod is that character has always been effeminate has always been that sort of portrayed as the flouncy mm-hmm. very extroverted over the top And but this yeah. did take it to sort of another level I, I liked it I thought it was quite grounded um, sometimes it's almost like in Joseph when the Elvis character comes out and you're a bit like oh it's a bit out of place and same with this sometimes it can be oh it's just the comedy number it's a bit light whereas I actually found this quite grounded the Still choreography quite edgy with it yeah the choreography kind of having this nonplussed style and having the heads on the plate and all the blood I thought yes okay I'm getting this now I like this this is the right level so I really liked that I liked the styling of it yeah and the production and the choreography I, specifically I would agree song. I'm not gonna pull out everybody but I will pull out um, Nathan Amsey as an ass um, who yes. we last saw in Heathers um, yeah. he he got chance to shine in this in the way that he didn't get the chance to do in Heather's for me. He got this chance to show this really edgy, rocky, soulful voice that he has, and the characterization that he put. <laughs> Come back! Come back! I can save you! I'll save you! Don't let go! <laughs> I'm sorry, the character. <laughs> the guy, <laughs> it's really it's it's so windy, windy guys. This like, is why events have been cancelled this weekend. In a minute, weekend. some like bird's gonna go past on a bike going <laughs> like it's really windy but no I, I just I mean I'm just gonna I, I loved you and Nathan He's you were really great good. I, I'm glad range, you're fantastic. in this role in this show it suits you so well yes okay. like, I'm talking to him he's not there <laughs> let's, let's not, wrap where, up where is before he? we get blown there. off away from Kansas <laughs> in yeah. a tornado okay Absolutely. so um, let's sum it up guys well um, before we go up to sum up make sure you hit subscribe uh, make sure you leave your comments about your uh, thoughts on this production if you've seen it hit the like button or the dislike button be yeah, something don't be nothing because much like today we we kind of will brave any weather for you fellow leggers we'll see good theater and bad theater and we'll brave the extremes and we'll give you our thoughts and opinions <laughs> as long as you 
share them, your yeah. opinions with us also. Damn so, bad. now you're probably wondering how many stars we are going to give Jesus Christ Superstar currently playing here at the Barbican Theatre in London. <gasps> we are going to give... Five! Five yeah. stars! Five stars for this show. It's it's an A. I it's really enjoy it. I think it's the best you're going to see of this of this show. For of this a show, long, which is long time. 50 years old that yeah. you think you've seen and heard in every possible way. You're going to be proved wrong by seeing it in this production with this amazing cast. Amazing cast, amazing sound, making it fresh. I really, really enjoyed it. I couldn't find a fault. Loved it. That's all I can and say. And you look for them, so you know. But anyway, that's just what I think. I don't always look for a fault. That's what I think. What oh, do you think? Out. Yeah, let us know. Comment below, because this is just what I think. Just what he thinks. We're We've the Breaking Leggers. We're over there. Okay, we're, we'll going. catch you again soon. Bye. Bye.